Does she have a book ready? <laughs> I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> well, good morning. Next is the approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Very none. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is approval of last week's minutes. I'll make a motion to approve last week's minutes. And I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. <coughs> Any discussion? Very none. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is approval of claims for payment. I will make a motion to approve the claims for payment. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have on the agenda is to resend motion of October 5th, 2016 regarding recommendation on Owasa finisher site. I'd like to change my verbiage uh, and after discussion with the DNR, I'd like to rescind motion for October 5th on the recommendation uh, for the animal feeding operation of Owasa. Um, my motion to, um, was to recommend the approval of the animal feeding operation construction permit loss of finishing section 15 Jackson Township in Little Drainage District needs uh, to be located and approved by the Drainage District Engineer. And I would like to change that to... I think you need to oh, yeah. we do we, that in we, separate we, motions. Yeah. I'm stop, I'm stopping. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I will <coughs> second your motion to rescind that. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now, item number seven is recommendation of the animal feed and operation construction permit Owasa finisher site section 15 of Jackson Township. And I would like to make a motion to approve the recommendation on Animal Feeding Operation Construction Permit of Wasa Finishers, Section 15, Jackson Township, to the DNR with the provision that the existing and possibly rerouted tile is located, inspected, and approved by the Drainage District Engineer. And I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have is a sheriff's quarterly report. I'll make a motion to approve the sheriff's quarterly report um, ending September 30th, 2016 um, with for a total of $614,466.72. Second. It's been moved <coughs> and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have a change of status in the assessor's office. I'll make a motion to approve the change of status. Assessor's office, Patrick Taylor. Um, position as an appraiser, $25 an hour. Uh, permanent part-time, you know, this is a hire. Um, and the start date is 10-17 of this year. I'll second it. Been moved and seconded, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have as a resolution recognizing Manufacturing Day 2016 in Hardin County. I brought like this before the county supervisors. As you know, October is Manufacturing Month. And we work closely with CIRRUS. And CIRRUS is the Center for Industrial Research and Service that's out of the Iowa State University College of Engineering. And they work very closely with manufacturing businesses by going in and help them in their performance, um, upgrading their engineering and their technology within the firm. And it makes it much more profitable a lot of times for the businesses. Um, as designated in the resolution, uh, we employ over 600 people in Hardin County in manufacturing. And in Hardin County, manufacturing does not only impact just that segment, but it has a great impact on our ag industry as well as our transportation industry. So 
manufacturing plays a, a large part in Hardin County. And so this is more or less bringing it before the supervisors to just put your support behind that industry here. Okay, I will make a motion to approve the resolution recognizing the Manufacturing Day 2016 in Hardin County. I will second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Yeah, <laughs> nice line towards the end of the resolution where it says Hardin County congratulates all of our manufacturing companies for their contribution to the long-term stability and, and of, lo of local and national ec uh, economics. Yes. There we go. I'll second it. <coughs> Hey, Pardon discussion. <laughs> Wait, I already did. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for your time and effort put in. Yes. That. Thanks, Cindy. Um, hearing no more discussion. Roll call. Renee. Aye. Ron. Aye. Lance. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. Now I have is a 2016. Next is a 2016 new business property tax credit applications. And I will make a motion to approve the 2016 new business property tax credit applications. And I will second it. <coughs> it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? These are ta taxes payable 17 and 18. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, I got on the agenda is a discussion on county owned house by Emergency Operations Center. This is that house we've had kind of on our side since we built that thing, and I'm just open for ideas of what we want done. Tear it down, try to sell it again, move it, have it stripped out, advertise it, don't advertise it, make a parking lot. I'm open for any ideas. We sold it once, kind of, but then the cost to move it were too, the, too high. Yeah. And we still have it. And the issues of moving it, so. Do we want to advertise it with a minimum bid as to, uh, I don't care if it's to be sold or to be stripped, but I, I at least want to get our money back that it costs for advertising. Do we need parking? We need parking at the OC building and the sheriff's. I agree. Yes. Jessica? <laughs> I, I, I kind of stalled before on the demolition of this because I know that the secondary road guys were uh, chomping at the bit to go just knock it down and the woodwork inside is worthy of salvaging. And so I, if you, take anything that I say, <laughs> I would like to see you explore the possibility of, of selling salvage rights to it for a minimum bit of what it would cost to advertise whatever because there is a new uh, furnace in there that's never been fired up and used that Habitat had put in. There's uh, a new water heater that these could be salvaged. Not only that, there's the um, antique oak woodwork that is very impressive. I have photos and built -in hutch. yeah, the built-in hutch with the original leaded glass, and the none of the none of the woodwork has been painted over in that entire house except for the kitchen, which was redone at some point in time. So there's a lot of really nice woodwork that could be used, and I guess I would like to just see you explore the possibility of sell selling the salvage rights. And then after that's completed, then just having our guys tear it down if that's what happens, you know. Connie, you've lived in it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. I mean, it. The woodwork in there is beautiful. The built-in hutch, the bay window area, the in between the living and dining room. There's the wood, the capitals. pillar things. I mean, it's the woodwork in there is gorgeous, and it had the wide baseboard trim. I mean, it was a cute house. It's too bad somebody won't buy it and move it. We still have photos of it. We tried to advertise it and sell it last time. 
and, and that's my point. But I'm, w I love beautiful woodwork. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been here before, though, but maybe we should uh, push again to see if we can salvage and, and get somebody to maybe purchase the woodwork and get the furnace out. Last Are you interested? No, I was <laughs> just going to make a comment. I know you talk about secondary roads doing it, but that's really not secondary roads work. So secondary roads would have to be, be reimbursed for their costs, time, and everything. And you might be better off, I know that, it, it, maybe talk to the city how they've done it, where they just let it out for bid for mm -hmm. removal of that home. And then, you know, say Company X gets it, people will go to them and try to buy the salvage rights from them. You know, and, and that's not uncommon why they'll do that. You know, you get a hold of them and they'll say, okay, you got a week to get it out and then we're coming in and tear it down. That way we're left out of it. So the salvageable uh, furnace, woodwork, hutch, anything else in there that? The water heater. Water heater. I have, I guess I have a question speaking from the fair board. <coughs> we're looking for a new furnace and we're taking bids on furnaces and for the um, community build, well, the center part of the community building for the kitchen, the um, meeting room, the office, and that entryway. Do you know how big a furnace it is? But it's never even been... Well, they installed it and it's not been fired up and used because no one's lived in it. Habitat put that in when they were trying to get the building back up to, to use as Habitat. <coughs> Could I get information and relay that on to I can give you the president? <laughs> I can give it to you. I just don't know what they're doing. I mean, they would bid on it, I'm sure, because we're taking bids now for the furnace and even the, maybe even possibly the water. What, what's the square footage of the building that you, and that's where you're going to go. You're going to figure out square footage of one and if the furnace, mm -hmm. because the, I'm sure they put a furnace in to handle the square footage of the house. And it might even be, I mean, I'll just pass it on to Dale, the president. He knows all all that part of it. But I could at least pass the information on if it's something yeah, they absolutely. might be interested in. Because right now the bids are astronomical for the, for out there. I totally agree with everything you guys have said. I mean, I, I would like to see the interior, things like that, preserved or sold or whatever. I don't know if we could do, and I don't know what your thoughts are. Maybe you'd prefer to just give it to the city of Eldora and let them do it. But otherwise, I could see doing an ad and taking bids for either the, the house itself and moving it or, or um, the selling the salvage rights out of it. I'm, I'm looking at if if we go through all this work and we spend more money and we have to tear it down anyway to the taxpayer if, is it just cheaper just to tear it down I, I understand all I think the selling the rights the salvage rights out of there would more than pay for um, the advertising I mean, if, if we, we could put it bids. on our website and in the local papers um, there's probably a couple places in Des Moines you, we could personally contact to let them know and they would be willing to I, I'm okay. Salvage, I'm okay trying to get it. I just want to know where are odds before we well, if it's, go that way. Because if, like if you're selling the salvage rights, you're tearing it down afterwards anyway. Right. So you still have that cost. Mm -hmm. But, but if, there, if somebody only bids $100 on it, we lost money. You also have to look at what do you have left before you get it tore down. I mean, if you're relying on secondary roads and, you know, the best time of year for us to do it would be winter when it's not snowing, but we may have, you know, a month where we can't get to it because it's snowing every day. Now you've got a house, no windows, or who knows what's left, you know. So where your option is? I would prefer to just have secondary roads not do it where you let it out to have a company come in and tear that house down and then they can sell the salvage rights. I mean, if somebody wants stuff out of there, they can contact that company 
and do it that way. That way you're not left with the building, you know. I, I'd it, love it, for somebody to come in and just jack the building up and relocate it. Yeah. Right. Back but in the community, but. But it's hard to do that now. Right. But if it does have a brand new furnace that's never been fired up, like Jessica said, and the water heater and whatever, you're, that's going to pay for your advertising, I would think, right there. But then if the fair board needs it, I'd just soon give it to them. Let them take that out of there, then salvage the rest on that. That's what I look at. At least I know we got some good out of it. I mean, I can check with Dale and see, because right now, every, like, the different places that he, they're getting bids for on the furnaces, they're bidding for two because of the size of the building. Oh, it's they probably need not large enough. one for the community building side and then one for the center part. Okay. Does it mean in between the two buildings? Just that kitchen area, just for that area that more or less? That itself will take one furnace. Yeah, so I would imagine that would be. I, I would think it'd be large enough. That would that. be large enough for that area. Because two household units because there's rebates if we have to pay buy a new furnace full price. So instead of one commercial unit, they're looking at two household units so we can get rebates. Well, this might work. Check in, get back to us. Yep, I'll check with Dale. I'll get the information from Jessica and then let you know. Okay. And I mean, we're looking at buying one anyway, so I'm sure they'd be happy to give give you something for it. So. But I'll find out. Okay. Well, I just threw it on here so we can talk about it. It's just been sitting there for a few years. I don't have the right answer. I'm just looking for options. It's I'm good glad discussion. I heard this one with the, with the fair board. Um, any other discussion? Justin, you need a house? No. <laughs> Do you know what the address is for this house? I don't. What? Do you know what the address is? No, I don't. I don't, I don't have a clue. It's just two blocks down. Yeah. It's, right, it's the one that sits right behind the EOC. Yeah, it's right next to it. Yeah, hold on. I think I can get that for you. It's either 11th or 12th Street. She'll have it here in a second. Yeah. While she's looking that up, though, I'll go to Hardin County DOT Drug and Alcohol Policy Revisions. If you guys had a chance to look at that. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're just updating what we had. Right, they still had former employees listed as contacts in there. They haven't been here for four or five years. Okay, so I will make a motion to um, approve the Hardin County DOT drug and alcohol policy revisions. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Thanks for catching that and bringing that up to date. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'm going to do a roll call. Renee. Aye. Ron. Aye. Lance. Aye. Motion carries. I have that address. It's 1309 11th Street, Eldora. All right, from there I will go to utility permit, secondary roads. Do you guys have it? I don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can check your Oh. <coughs> I'll make a motion to approve the Hardin County Utility Permit application by Midland Power for the purpose of boring power cable under R Avenue for new house for new house located between 260th Street and 270th Street, located in section 26, Pleasant. Township. I will second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Anything on the roads? Yeah, we 
pulled away from B Avenue to start working on uh, the gravel roads connecting with D65 and D55 for uh, building those approaches up so that they can be paid for next year. So we need to get those finished this year so they can go through a freeze thaw cycle. Um, another, uh, I had a resident call and asked me about deer hunting, bow hunting at the property at the Iowa Falls Shed and I didn't know how to answer that. We don't have any no hunting signs, but we don't, I don't know. Do we allow hunting or not? Is that close to the city's bow hunting area? I don't, you don't know that Justin, where the hunting areas are? Mm -hmm. Or what the feelings are on letting somebody bow hunt deer up there? It's timber and... Well, to the north, there are houses. And to the west, there are houses just up over the ridge. So I'm not sure about the safety of that as well, of to where they're going to set up. But if it's bow and <coughs> not shotgun, is that... As long as they don't shoot the bow like I did in physical education <laughs> class. <laughs> 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 You were the one, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how the city of Iowa Falls does that. I know the city of Eldora, they, the bow hunter has to go and get certified through the state park. You know, Don gave him a test or whatever. So, but I just wanted to bring it up. I, I don't have an issue with it. They want to go hunt and are shoot you, some deer. Are you talking about the city garage that's east of Iowa Falls? Yeah, in the southeast, right there. It's not really in a hunting area. For Roxylvania, there's a pretty big buffer on each side of Roxylvania. Okay. And the whole area that's the concrete area is excluded, so there's really, like, not, I mean, look at, but you don't know what happens after you cross the city lines. I mean, the river's right there. Right, yeah. So, do we have a lot of hunt? Well, that's just a boat access. It's a conservation park. It's just mostly boat access. And I don't have any idea what I know I'd really like to sell the ground and uh, <laughs> 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 hunt all they want. Right, yeah. You know, that this question comes up can they hunt it? It's not marked no hunting, I mean, it is public property. I, I think we should probably mark it no hunting, is my gut feeling. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Do you talk to Wes and ask him about it? Miss Weiss. Well, it's not his conservation property. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't care what to do secondary roads. Um, but <clears throat> for this year, it's easy just to say no uh, until we investigate yeah. a little farther. I would agree. <clears throat> I'm not sure how the neighbors w would feel. And, you know, uh, yeah, it's, we'd have to take a look and see safety, safety of the... Um, and then also maybe talk to the city of Iowa Falls. I would say if you want to get a hold of Jody Dennis, he's our inspector and handles a lot of different things like that. He can tell you or get an answer for you. You know, I like the city of Eldora's idea as far as having some testing done with Don Primus before allowing somebody on there so you, so you know they're not a bow hunter <coughs> like Ron. <laughs> um, yeah, because people walk the trails, they don't even see the deer hunters are right there. Right. So, I think for this year I would agree to say okay. no. Just wanted to give them an answer. Till we can research it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else first? Any other business? I wonder and Nancy will maybe have to tell me procedures on this, but when I made the motion for the Hardin County Sheriff's quarterly report, I said total receipt of six thousand or six hundred and fourteen thousand four sixty six seventy two. That was the total amount disbursed. Actually the total amount received was six hundred and twelve thousand sixty dollars and eighty three cents. So I don't know if I need to don't put whatever numbers you read off in minutes. Oh, you don't? Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Justin, for the newspaper, if you want to make that correction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can, if you really want it in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, from there, is there any other business? Hearing none, I can ask for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. All right.